Hey everyone, I'm Marigo, and today I've got a video mostly for my students, um, but I'm sure a lot of people will find it helpful. We're gonna cover how to save um, Ableton projects and also how to wrap them up to send them to somebody else who is then going to work with your track. A lot of my students send me projects to go over in lessons. So this will help you avoid opening up a project and having nothing. I've got a little bee here with some recorded samples, some MIDI, various things going on here. So of course I already have this saved, but let's save it like it's new. So as if I just wrote this today, we're gonna save it just to the desktop. I'm gonna call it Mari Goes Beat. Cool, save. So now you might think you're done, but you're not. Let's take a look at what's inside that folder. So when I open this up, we see a couple things here. Um, one is the Ableton Project info, uh, and the other is important thing here is the margosbeat.als. And now .als stands for Ableton Live Set. And if I wanted to open up that project, I can double click on this and it will open up the project for me. So that's what you wanna double click on if you're opening your project to start working on it again or something like that. If I send the .als file, what we will get is a set where all of these beautiful things that I made are basically offline. So I'll open it up, it'll kind of look like this with everything deactivated. So how do we get it so that everything is in the set how we want it? Okay, let's reactivate that. And that little trick there that I was just using, I just highlighted everything and hit the zero key which deactivates and reactivates all of your clips. Okay, so after you save as and place your folder where you need it, whatever, that's fine, you have to then go back and hit this collect all and save. This is really important. Um, and then a little dialog box will come up with a couple options and it's saying, where do you want your media files to be copied? Uh, which media files rather do you wanna be copied into your project? Files from elsewhere? files from other projects, files from your user library, and files from factory packs. So basically you want all those on yes, the factory packs you probably don't need on. Um, however, if you're working with someone who maybe has like um, live intro or something like that and may not have certain things, you could turn that on as well. I'm gonna leave it off, I'm gonna hit okay. It's going to load some stuff up. And now let's take a look again at our folder here. So this is my project folder. I'd left it open behind. And now you can see there's more stuff in there. So we've got um, we've got a presets folder and a samples folder. These are both important things for both your end of the deal and the other person's end of the deal if you're sending it to somebody. But the samples folder is what I wanna focus on here. Anything that you may have recorded in, any samples that you might have pulled from your sample libraries, or something like that, that your writing partner, your teacher, your friend, whatever might not have, are now wrapped up inside of your project folder so that when they open it up, they will then have it. So this is really important for you just to do, even if you're not sharing, because you might move your sample library to somewhere else on your computer, and then next time you open your set, all of your shit will be gone. So um, definitely collect all and save always, regardless of whether you're gonna share your project or not, okay? So now, do you just send your writing partner or whoever the Ableton Live set? No, you send the whole folder. So you have to locate your project folder, Marigo's Beat Project. I'm gonna right click and compress. This is just gonna wrap everything up into a smaller fi zip file. And now this zip file is what you will then upload to your file sharing site like WeTransfer or Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever. So this is what, um, for my students, this is what I need you to send me if I'm going to be able to actually open up your projects. Now, let's talk about a couple other things. So let's say I have a plugin on one of these tracks here. Let's just open like, Maybe I have Valhalla, my, one of my favorite reverbs on something. So now what if my student, friend, teacher, whatever does not have this? So the solution to that problem, because yes, you they will open it on their computer and it will say, so-and-so, this plugin is missing. 
and obviously you won't be able to hear the effect of that plugin. So all you need to do is freeze whatever track you have the plugin on. So in this case, it's my piano track, right click or control click if you're on a Mac and you're gonna select freeze track. It'll take a little bit to freeze the track. And then once that's done, all the effects will be sort of like printed or, or frozen onto the track in a way that you can no longer edit it, but anyone else can open it up and be able to hear um, the track, in including the effect of the plugin. So if you're not sure, just freeze the track because you can always right click and just unfreeze it again. Awesome. Now, there is one other way to wrap up your set, and that's by creating an Ableton, uh, Ableton Live Pack. Uh, so this is sort of like a short way of creating a compressed folder with all your stuff in it. So if we go to Manage Files, we get this on the right side, a new window pops up. You're going to go to um, Manage Project, which is the second one down. And then all the way at the bottom of this list is a drop down for packing. Uh, and it says here, this project uses external files. Therefore, the resulting pack will not contain all necessary files. Consider collecting these files before creating the pack. So what that's saying is that it's reminding you to collect all and save. So make sure you collect all and save, okay. And now you're gonna go to create pack. I'm gonna save it on the desktop, same thing, Mario goes beat. And now basically it's just gonna go through everything and create, again, a compressed folder, um, but it's a specific Ableton sort of only file. So if I now look at my desktop here, boom, we've got this .alp, Ableton Live Pack, and you can send that off as well. So that's another way to make kind of a similar idea to the zip folder. Both of them, you need to collect all and save. So hopefully that clears up the issue of opening up a set and not having any of the actual material there. Uh, there may be other issues that you've come across. If so, drop those issues in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can, either in a comment or another video. Hope this was helpful for you to get started. Thank you.